first time I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go I'm nothing without you I don't know what I would do without you You are the one I choose I wanna grow to Shell's Glam Home. Well today I'm excited to share another two Glam DIY projects. I hope you enjoy. Starting with this canvas that I picked up from my local dollar store, I had a wonderful idea in mind to do something that I've always wanted to do guys. I was inspired by a beautiful picture of a Chanel floral perfume bottle and I decided that I would try to recreate it. Now I started with a template of an old perfume bottle I had from a previous project. Now you can Google a perfume bottle template and there's so many that do come up. I started by tracing out the entire bottle. I then printed out a Miss Dior logo from Google and I cut it out and hot glued it to the center of the bottle. Once it was all glued in place, I then took this dollar store vine and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hot glue some of it around the left hand side of the bottle. I then added some around the right hand side, as well as some to the top lid. I then shopped my own home for lots of dollar store flowers that I had. These are simple inexpensive flowers guys and I just took different colours and textures. I started by making a grouping on the right hand side. I cut the stems off the flowers and I hot glued the larger of the flowers to the right. I then started at the top left hand side and repeated the same steps. I then added some more flowers to the bottom. With this design guys, what you want to do is focus on making the right and left hand side, top and bottom, a full thickness, whereas the left and right hand side are going to be not as thick. Once I was happy with the result, I then started on the top lid. Now I'm going to add one of those large fuchsia pink flowers to the centre of the lid, but first of all I'm going to add a little bit more vine. This design guys was really just me playing it by ear. I was definitely inspired by a picture that I'd seen, but I definitely added my own shells touch to this. Don't have time to figure it out. The key I find here with flowers is if you're starting with say a big flower like the one at the top, I add little stems such as this lavender to really make it pop. I then took this dollar store black and white striped ribbon. Now what you're going to do here guys is overlap the ribbon four times to create the bow. 
Off camera, I added some wire to the center and then I cut two strips as the bottoms of the bow and I hot glued this Diamante brooch to the middle. While that was all drying, I then picked up my second DIY. I picked up these two beautiful satin like cushions from my local reject shop guys for just $7 and I knew they would be perfect for what I had in mind. Now you know your girl Shell absolutely loves working with this silver glitter foam from my local dollar store. I'm flipping it over here and I've took a template of another perfume bottle and what I'm going to do is trace it out. And I know that you tried your best as well to make me smile. I then took my scissors and cut it out. I then wanted to create the shape of a lipstick. So taking a pencil and ruler, what we're gonna do here guys, is we're going to draw as if two boxes were on top of one another. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this guys. Basically you're just gonna go in and create a box and then go in about another two centimeters and create another smaller box on top. So it basically just looks like a box stack. Once that's all complete, you're then going to cut it out. left with something that looks a little like this. Now you're then going to take another piece of that glitter foam. I chose this fuchsia pink one and what we're going to do here is just freehand what the top of a lipstick would look like. Using the bottom as a template to line it up, I started by making sure that it would fit above the silver glitter. I then freehand the top of a lipstick and cut it out. I then took some black glitter foam and taking a Chanel logo, I traced that out and cut it out as well. Taking my first cushion, I hot glued the perfume bottle to the center. I then cut out a black square from that glitter foam and I hot glued that to the center of the bottle. Then cutting the Chanel logo from that template perfume bottle, I hot glued that to the center of the black glitter. I then took this dollar store Jojo bow and I hot glued that around the neck of the bottle. I also took this dollar store silver glitter bow and hot glued that to the top. I then started on my second cushion. Taking that silver glitter box, I trimmed off some excess to make sure that it would fit on the cushion and then I hot glued that in place. Now to give the illusion of the lipstick, what I'm going to do here is leave about a half a centimetre to hot glue the lipstick to the top. You're then going to 
add the Chanel logo to the middle of the silver glitter. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna and skip here are my adorable cushions. Mistakes. I'm so happy with how these came. Obviously, guys, these are for decorative purposes only. But I love how I took inexpensive items and gave them a glam touch. Nothing can break me. What are you thinking? You're about a hundred feet away, without a breathing. A big shout out has to go to each and every one of my subscribers. We have just hit 20,000 subscribers guys. My heart is so so happy right now. I want to thank you all so so much for believing in me and always supporting me and encouraging me here at Shelf Glam Home. As promised, I do have an exciting giveaway for you all. So please stay tuned. I'll have that video up for you by the end of this week. It's always something. There's always something in the way. Million excuses to take. These simple and inexpensive projects were so much fun to create. I had so much fun creating this beautiful Mistyore floral perfume bottle wall art. I absolutely love working with florals and it was so much fun bringing this together for you. You can say at least I've tried the first step. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Michelle, but most people call me Shell, and I'm the creator of Shell's Glam Home. I love everything glam, rustic, and farmhouse, and I love bringing simple and inexpensive ways for you to decorate your home. With the first step. Forget guys to also follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Shell's Glam Home too. I post daily photos of inspirational ideas, DIYs and videos, as well as things that make my heart so happy when it comes to decorating my home glam. So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shell's Glam Home. Don't forget guys, I'll have that giveaway for you by the end of the week. So be sure to tap your notification bell so you'll be aware when I upload that video. 
So until next time, my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, I just want to be